Welcome to this next version of the Knowledge videos. Today I want to tell something about electroforming in the electronics and semiconductor industry. Uh, the most well-known application are the, in the electronics industry are the uh, stencils. We produce a lot of stencils, stencils for the photovoltaic industry, solar panels. Uh, these stencils are used to print the lines on the solar panel, the silver lines. Um, silver is rather expensive in this process, so it, it becomes more and more important to, to print very fine line with high aspect ratios. We print line down to, let's say, down to 20 micron line width, and if, if necessary, we could, we could even make them uh, smaller. Another application are the SMT stencils uh, for the printed circuit uh, board industry uh, to put the solder paste on, onto these uh, printed circuit boards. It are full metal stencils, so they last very long. Uh, for the OLED and the printed electronics, in, in fact, you should call them shadow masks. Uh, we call them stencils, but in, in fact, it are shadow masks, and uh, it will uh, prevent that you uh, do, do not get any deposit in areas where you don't want to have it. As said, it are full metal stencils, and uh, lifetime of these stencils it depends a little bit on application, but uh, cycle times of 500,000, even up to 1 million cycles, are quite common. Uh, are quite common in this market. As said, because they are full metal uh, mass. Semiconductor industry, we produce a lot of spacer bars. These, uh, it's already in the name. Uh, it's, uh, it are 30, 40 micron thick strips that are put between the wafers and also um, uh, used as a shadow mask uh, to prevent uh, uh, coating of, of your product at areas where you don't want it. Uh, a very fast growing market are the test probes, the cantilevers, uh, wafer probe, cantilevers, however you want to call them. Um, we can adjust the material speci uh, uh, specifications to your needs. We have three PhD material specialists working on these applications to take care of the current uh, carrying capacity, uh, heat resistant, uh, thermal resistance, uh, uh, electrical conductivity, hardness, whatever you're, whatever you're looking for, we can make them. Uh, these wafer probes are used to measure uh, each individual die on a wafer. Uh, hundreds and, and thousands, sometimes even ten thousand of these probes are uh, combined in one measurement system uh, to enable uh, the, the, com the complete uh, measurement of the, the functions of the dies on, on, on your wafer. Very fast grow ma growing market, you can imagine with the autonomous driving car coming uh, uh, more and more of this measurement uh, equipment is, is required. Get to some kind of a summary. Um, we can adjust the material properties with electroforming, we can adjust them to your needs. It's the base is a photolithographic process. Uh, it, that means that we can make very fine lines, high aspect ratio products with a uh, high degree of miniaturization. Uh, and maybe the main benefit is this market is very cost driven, so it's very important. We can work on very large substrates, uh, up to 50 by 60 centimeters, making the process very cost effective. If you are interested, or if you got interested and you want to know more, please look at our site, uh, ficoprecision.com. Mm -hmm.